good. Hey, welcome back to Carol Life Historical Park in Dayton, Ohio. We are going to be cooking today, and we have uh, with us uh, my daughters, Katie and Sarah, today. Of course, a lot of us are at home. We're, we're self uh, uh, social distancing and self quarantining and everything these days. So uh, if a family could stick together, you're probably doing a lot of baking at home. We thought we would share with you a fun uh, a 1754. A recipe for pound cake from Virginia and uh, it only has five ingredients it's very simple it's very easy to make and, and we have everything assembled here to do this the way they would have done this back in the uh, the well maybe 1754 but we're not dressed for that uh, we're, we're more in the the uh, 1830s here 1840s with the equipment we're using right Katie yep yep and um, <laughs> and we're in the Morris house and the Morris house is a stone building that was located originally in Centerville, Ohio. It was built in 1815, and it was moved here in 1953, one of, the, one of the first buildings moved in after Carillon Park originally opened. So it's pretty neat, huh? Anyway, let's get to the pound cakes. So in this case, we have one cup of butter, and we're going to um, add sugar to it and cream the sugar. And so we have a cup and a third one and, and a third cup of sugar that's going to get creamed into the butter. Now, where does sugar come from? Where do you think, Sarah? Sugar cane. Sugar cane, right, right. So there are a lot of ways to sweeten things in, in, in back in the day. You had you had sugar, you had maple syrup, you had honey. Um, molasses. Molasses, right. We're <laughs> going to get to molasses. So molasses is, is related to this process. What would have occurred, you would have, you would have gone, um, you would have gotten your sugar cane, uh, looked like corn stalks, you would, you would take the leaves off, you'd press it, you'd press all the juice out of it. And the West Indies, you take the, uh, the sugar cane, you boil it. They had a number of pots that this would be boiled down. And then that syrup was uh, placed in cones and what was called claying or potting the sugar. We need uh, five eggs. And here we go, we've got uh, laying brown eggs today. So why don't you go ahead and start cracking those. And then what we're gonna use is something called mace. Now mace, and we call for a quarter tablespoon of mace in this, and mace is the outside of the nutmeg. Now, final piece, two cups of flour. So we're going to um, go ahead and put this in here while you're stirring. Do you want to kind of gradually do this, Sarah, as she's stirring it? And put it in there. Go ahead and get some coals and put them out right out here on the hearth. Katie has this all nicely mixed. We've got a uh, little tin pan here to put in here. Why don't you have Sarah uh, hold the bowl and you can kind of scrape it in here. All right. This is not uh, conduction where the heat would fry this thing. We want to create hot air surrounding to cook this. So we put rocks in the bottom of this or something to keep it from hitting the bottom. And this will float up on top of here like that. So now it's up off the bottom. And Sarah, we're gonna need some coals. Okay. So we're going to surround this thing with heat. So put the lid back on and go ahead and, and put coals on top of this. So we have coals on the bottom, coals on the top. Go ahead, dump them on there. All right, well, here's the finished product. And isn't that gorgeous? And while this has been baking, Sarah's been busy crushing sugar into powdered sugar. And so what this calls for, I don't have a sifter with me, it's just some, it's coated with some powdered sugar. This looks pretty good. Let's cut this open and see what it looks like. You ready? Okay. It's as thick as the batter was. Oh my gosh. You're really gonna need a cup of tea when you're eating this. Here it is, 1754, pound cake. Bake it with the family. Um, try, try it at your place, and we'll see you next time here at Carolina Historical Park. Thanks, bye-bye.